What up? It's Swag. Duh. And today we back with the Pop Culture Comics Hall. Y'all. <laughs> and today we watching Comic Book Palace. Y'all should watch them. They great. And we watching Comics Den. Subscribe to both of them. Both great channels. You get banter, see cool comic books, you hear to talk about stuff, cult, pop culture of movies and entwining with the comic books. And then comics in, they had a con, picking up some good books. But how y'all been? I hope everybody Thanksgiving was good. And I hope that y'all got some good stuff on Black Friday. I'm expecting to watch a couple of people's Black Friday sales of what they grabbed, you know? Um, and make sure we go ahead and go subscribe to Matt Heroes for Hire Comic Book Club, Comic Club, and uh, sub him up, y'all. He about to get to 200. I, I, I love all of everybody about to get to their milestones and get to nuts to set up for another one. This is great, y'all. You know, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. Appreciate y'all. And I'm almost to 200. And uh, like I said before, I'm doing a giveaway when I get to 200. So, but what you snacking on? <laughs> gotcha. See, a lunchable Capri Sun with some Carmelo chocolate. Oh, hey, don't knock a Lunchable. Sometimes when you're just trying to get something quick, as much as we talk about they for kids, I just seen grown people eating that. Lunchables are delicious. I like the ham and American cheese, but, you know, eat your zone. Today, we got some good books for y'all, right? Do y'all like this tone? Y'all like this? Y'all like this right here? You know, just let me know. I'm like switching up the look of it a little bit. We about to start with some good books. This is the stack. I'm gonna put it in my short box as I get get through it, y'all. All right. Um. And I want to start something new for y'all. We gonna start up a new thing that I'm doing in the videos, or I might separate it, but you know, for right now, I'm gonna put it in the video of my read of the week. Some I recommend. Some I'm just telling y'all that's good. Or some I read that was a good story or a good start of a story because I haven't read the whole thing or I might have read some of it. So I'm gonna show y'all that right now. All right, right over here I got the astonishing Wolfman. And if you hear me talk about it, I talk about Robert Kirkman all the time. He should make this into a show just like he did with Outcast, just like uh, The Walking Dead, Invincible. This is good. Uh, and I got the Metal Rod going on. I got two issues. I got from the great man, Chief Comic Collector. They both was good reads. It's about uh, wolves fighting with vampires. Mm hmm. Sound familiar, don't it? It ain't Twilight, but it's better. And another book right here that I got is. Bully Wars. Uh, I don't know if it's a five issue series, but I got both of the variant covers of one. Metal Rock. Uh, so, we got that going right there. And them are good. I'm going to start setting them up either the week or if I read more enough, I'm going to start having books up. I got a little book stand, so it's good to show them off. You know, I like that right there, right? Uh, so go ahead and check out if you get the astonishing, the astounding, not astonishing, the astounding Wolfman. I said astonishing like two, three times. But, uh, in Bully Wars, they both good books. So let's go ahead and get into these. This is from my comic, my LCS. And it's me finishing my short box that I told you I got. We got some not even open yet with a card in it from Garbage Pill Kids Trashing Through Time number three. Look at that. And this is the card right here. This is the card right there. I'm telling y'all the Indies is my thing. 
And they do a lot of different stuff. We got Garbage Pail Kids, Trashing Through Time, number three. Different cover. This is the variant cover. This one, I like it. It look like an old movie. And we're going to show you some of the ah. The ah. Yeah, I know. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all too. Look at that ah. That Garbage Pail Kid movie is so good. Have, have y'all watched that recently? <laughs> but... I got one that I could keep and got one I could read, you know? We got Garbage Pill, Kids Trashing Through Time, number four. And I'm gonna tell y'all, uh, do y'all watch uh, Journal's, Journal's comics when he be making his videos talking about the Facebook market and all that? He made a good pivot point video. Comic books are worthless, but it's all about what you make it. Stuff is not, we make stuff worth it, y'all. Not somebody telling us so we could think that it's worth more. A story is worth it to you. Yes, I'm talking to you, sitting there watching this. So, the books, I don't really care about key or nothing. It's just, if it's a good story to you, it's a good story to you. <laughs> Number five. Garbage Pill Kids. And I just watched that video like today. And he had good points. And it's the car right there. We got Garbage Pill Kids number five. Variant cover. Trashy. I like these covers. Look at the car. How many of y'all used to collect uh, Garbage Pill Kids cards? The, nin the Ninjits number two. Look at that. Gotta show you some of the art. The art. Look at that. They in school. With the ski mask. This might be a fun story. Donna might be having some interesting stories. We got the Invincible Red Sonya, number eight. And this is what I was talking about, about Conan and Red Sonya. They got split up. They was at the same area at first. Then they got split up, you know. The art. And now they split up again right now. They ain't even in the same area. Because I think Red Sonya is still with Dynamite. While Titan got Conan. Blade Runner 2039, number five. Yeah, you know. Can we... We got Darker Image, number one. I got one that's still silk that I got from a cheap comic collector. But this one is not open. It's open so I can read it. So I can't wait. It's going to be fun. You know? We got The Scorch, number 22. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. And uh, I just been liking books, man. Even if your book kind of sucks, I just be like, I didn't come out that much for it. I really like, I like the way that our overall, nobody should be judging nobody. Overall, everybody collects the way they want to collect. Wildcats, Covert Teams, number 15. And I really like that because the fact is, Everybody gonna collect the way they want to collect. Some people gonna hand their comics down, hand them on to somebody else. Some people gonna do it different. Some people gonna like to be spec. Some people like to just read. Some people, you just don't care. Like it's just the way that people collect, y'all. Number one of Wildcats, and I and I like that about like overall like everybody is pretty much don't tell anyone how they should collect everybody just be cool with it number 25 or brigade i got some more brigade so that's pretty good yeah we got supreme number 25 if you remember watching the video when i went to my comic shop you seen some of these in the video but five for a dollar come on the Savage Dragon number 14.
Some of these heroes really is sweet, y'all. Savage Dragon number 10. Look at that. Look at that art. We got the Kendrick. Number three. Ooh. And we have Splitting Image number two. I don't know how many issues it is it is, but this is my first one I got. And I like it how it's a whole bunch of the heroes from Image in here. And that's the thing I like about it. Look at that art. The art! And it's made with the paper. Then, there we go. Oh, my bad, y'all. Y'all probably like, what the hell? See? We got... Freak Force, number five. And how's your day, evening, night, morning going whenever you're watching this? And I hope it's going good. Mine has been great. Had a good day. G.I. Joe number 306 from Skybound. A real American hero. And what's so tight and uh what's so tight about it is that I'm filming this the day that uh Fortnite just dropped. The new battle pass. Godzilla's in it, y'all. Godzilla! Godzilla! And Baymax off of Hero 6. Big hero. The slope number three. If y'all remember, I got some of these earlier on, so I got a couple of these. Hopefully, I get the whole run. We got Transformers number thirty-two. Yeah, so cool. And uh. I've been playing that, y'all. Skulls and Bones, number one, Savage Storm. This was a video game that went horribly wrong. The story of this might be better. The comic might be way better than the game. The game? <laughs> Woo! Cheeks. Just being honest, y'all. Look at that. Look, look, look. This art is good, though. Because the story they had for the game was cool, but you basically on the ship the whole time, which it was like, no. This was a free a free giveaway back then. It's the CBS Presents Action Hour featuring Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Wildcats, and Skeleton Warriors. Look at that. Yeah, it was free. We got the Devil Tree number three. I got a couple issues of this already. So Andy, and hopefully, hopefully, sometimes people say the odd, but the story of the first issue I read was cool. So hopefully, it carries it on. Van Housen from Xenoscope. Beast of Exmoor. There we go. Uh -huh. Zensko makes some good stuff. As far as horror. We got Far Cry Esperanza Tears. Number one. Far Cry is a video game. I have played this game. I got this game. I haven't beat it. It's a lot. It's an open world game. I'm far into it, but you know. We got Far Cry Speranza Tears, different variant cover of number one. Look, yeah, they off of Breaking Bad. Look at them, they look just like them. They did good with the art on them. This is what a Blaze be getting. They be getting a hold of the, some of the stuff too, just like Titan and stuff. We got, these was a good grab because I, I wanna do learn about Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. Them are the two games I really wanna learn, y'all. Like I know a little bit about Pokemon enough that I, it's be cool, but I really want to learn these. This is Ice Age on the World of Magic the Gathering number two. Look at that. Let me know if y'all know how to play Magic. Magic is cool. 
I watched people play it. Then we got includes Fury the Magic Gathering Creature Token, Magic the Gathering the Shadow Mage number three. Look at that. Look, look, look. So good. We got Magic the Gathering Shadow Mage number two. There we go. Look at that. That's so tight. Y'all can't tell me. <laughs> we got Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero, The Pneumatic Man, number one. One, one, one. See, I told y'all, Indies is, Indies is it, y'all. Indies is it. Look, like the cards. And you get like cut it up and everything. It's pretty cool, y'all. It's all in a book. We got Leonard Nimoy's my Prom Mortals number two. Look at that boy. He ain't playing. He's toned, y'all. He's toned. Let me show y'all some of the art. The art. Good. This the shiny paper when they start getting a little glossy. This is from 1995. Ooh we got Goobers number one. Now this is crazy. Look. Vault. Oh. And it's like it's a wraparound too, y'all. There you go. Yeah. I know, I know. We got Wesley Snipes, the XL number one. Tell me they don't look like Wesley Snipes. That definitely look like them. What not publishing? Look at this. Look at this. Wesley Snipes is a bad shut your math. There can only be one blade, y'all. <laughs> He told y'all, he told y'all. It's a real thing, y'all. Blade still holds up to now. And don't trip, I'm gonna show y'all a movie. Dream Master, number one. He's reaching for something. Is this a wraparound? Yup. Nope, it's not. It's not a wraparound. Then we got Dream Master, number one again. A different cover. Look at that. Eyeball. Look at that. Ooh. We got Devil's Dominion number four. Like, these indie books is cool, y'all. Hey. It ain't no judge over here. If you want to just stick to superheroes, I like to explore out and find it out. That's cool, you know what I mean? Shout out to uh Circumstance. He had a great stream today. He was streaming the game, y'all. It was fun. I watched went back and watched the whole thing, by the way. Marcus. House of Slaughter, number 23. This is shout out to him. He's been talking about something that's killing the children. So I grabbed the couple issues I've seen. Issue 22, The Butcher's War Part 2, House of Slaughter. From Boom. And then we got House of Slaughter, The Butcher's War Part 1, number 21. 10. Look at that. That. There we go. We got. Damn them all, issue nine from Boom. Look at this stuff, man. It's so tight, y'all. We got Damn them all, issue two. Couldn't find issue one. She kind of looked like Michonne before. It's like dark tone colored with certain colors. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. ah. We got Berserker number 12. 
There you go. Look at that. Keanu. And then we got Berserker number 12. Again, different variant cover. Y'all see, I got some, some all star people in here. Keanu and Wesley Snipes. What? <laughs> Peace. Now we on the DC. That's all the India. We on the DC. Uh, this is number four of Peacemaker tries hard. When I seen this, and this is black label, so it's it's gonna be more extreme. With the just like the show, you got the cuss words in there. You got the talking stuff in there. You know. I heard the show is good, y'all. I heard the show is good. We got Peacemaker Tries Hard number three. It look like it look like a John Cena drew aesthetic, so that art. We got Cyborg number two. Don of DC. Look at Cyborg. They didn't switch to Cyborg a lot. I wonder how I think I like him or the way he's colored and drew sometimes. Black, we got uh, number Black Label again, book four. Batman White Knight presents Generational Generation Joker. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. There you go. We have Detective Comics 16. We got the Batman. Ooh, a penguin right there. This is gonna be cool. I can't wait. Look at that art. Ah, the art. Ah. Look at that Batman right there. Ooh. Look up in the sky. It's a bird in the plane. Oh, they trying to play. They gon' they gonna get in trouble. They are gonna get in trouble, y'all. We got it. Batman 443. Ooh. Ooh. This is sweet, man. I'm telling y'all, Batman. I don't really got too much older Batman, so Batman 441. This is a lonely place of dying. A lonely place of dying, part three of five. It's a beater, but it's a reader. Reader beater. You got Swamp Thing number 30. So cool. We got a uh, Superman annual number from 2023. Don't got the number in it. Darn off DC. Look at that. Look at that annual. Yeah, I know I like the thicker books, so had to get it right, right. From Vertigo, we got Fables. Number 138. I've been slowly getting this run, and when I get it for a good bargain, it's pretty good, you know. They're fun, different type of reads, and I like the covers. We got Fables number 90. There we go. Let me know if y'all read any of these books because it'd be cool. We got Fables number 80, which is three of five. Number 89. I said 80. Look at that picture. Like an extra eye up there, y'all. That's crazy. Look at the art. The art. Look at that. Look, look, look. I like showing y'all, yeah, you know? We got Fables number 85. 
see his crossover. Got to catch up on them, read them. The Great Fables crossover number 83. Part one right here. You know I want to know what y'all reading and stuff, y'all. Fables number 82. I don't know how to play no instruments, y'all. The most I know how to do is a little bit from when I was in music class with the piano. A little bit. Like, a little bit, y'all. Fable number 66. Tell me if y'all know how to play any instruments. Would love to know. We got Rob the Last Man number 48. I got a couple issues of this already, so... That's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be fun. While the last man number 47. Yeah. We got while the last man number 46. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, Samurai. That's what the season is in Fortnite. I'm going to keep talking about it, y'all. Till y'all play. Look at that ah, The ah, I like that. Fighting with the swords. That's pretty cool. Now we are on. All the rest of this is Marvel, by the way. So we about to get it started, y'all. We got Fantastic Four. Legacy 704, number 11. The Thing. Shout out to my to brother Bobby. We got the Amazing X Men number one. Some of the nineties. We got the Lethal Foes of Spider Man number three. Look out! Here comes the Lethal. I got one of these already, so I don't know how many of them it is, but. This is cool that I got number three. Because I think I got number one. Or, no, I got number two. Because this is the Lethal Foes of Spider-Man number one. And I have number three right here. And I got number two that I got from Cheap Comic Collector. So, I don't know if that's the whole run. But, you know. We got 2099 Unlimited Hulk 2099 number three. I hear these are bad. They say Doom 2099 and Punisher was okay. But I'll read it and fi figure out if I just like don't like it at all. Here we go. Some art. The art. You know. And. I'm just saying. Marauders number 10. Look at that peach. Momoko. Her art is good. Pop uh Pop Comics just got some art done by her, by the way. When he was at a con. It was pretty tight. Exterminators number four. I don't know what this is, but I'm down to try it. You know, the art is uh is pretty 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 okay. Ain't nothing crazy. It ain't nothing bad. A lot more striking of the details of, the, of everyone that's on the page. We got the sensational She Hawk number three. Hey, hot topic the comics of She Hawk is way better than the show. Just saying. X-Men Classic. It is number 110. Classic X-Men. I'm really getting a lot of this Classic X-Men stuff. I do want to complete one of the volumes just to see if I can. You got Classic X-Men number 81. We got Nightcrawler Mystique. Yeah. 
We got X Men: The Early Years, number three. Blob, blob, right there. The choke out. Tight. Then we got X Men: Early Year, The Early Years, number two. I don't got number one. I got some stuff coming up for y'all. Just know. I got some more good books that I need to show. We got X-Men Unlimited number three. Among Us, a saber tooth. There we go. Can y'all believe, man? I can't believe it, man. These are some good books. Five for a dollar, man. Dead X-Men. Number four. Look at that. We got Dark Web X-Men. Number two. There we go. Magic. There she goes, Cyclops. That Black Bolt. I don't know if that's Black Bolt Phoenix right there. We got Astonishing X-Men, number 62. Look at that. Look, look, look. It's so cool, man. It's so tight. We got the Astonishing X-Men number four. Man, you know, like, I be, like, doing these books when I see something. I be, like, I be ready to read, y'all. I'm just saying. The other day I read, like, seven or eight comic books back to back to back just reading. The Astonishing X-Men number three. I hear this is a good, a good little fun run right here. This part of X Men when they was doing this Age of Apocalypse stuff. So I can't wait to read it. We got number two of the Astonishing X Men. They say it just was like a lot of, uh, and it says after Xavier, so it's some before and after. And I can't wait to see Astonishing. We got. Miles Morales Spider-Man number 17 There we go Look at that Got some Miles in there I don't really got too much like uh, Miles Morales But this is a cool You know That's good I mean when you run across something cool Still good Game War number 4 of Spider-Woman this is the game war time. Number four. We got Gang War number two. Spider Woman. We got the Incredible Hulk number. Five Legacy Seven Eighty Six with plus a story featuring Power Man. Oh, okay. These are a lot of books, y'all. The Incredible Hulk number four. So that was number five. This is number four man thing right there. The Hulk is in fighting with him. We got Plenty of Hulk World Breaker number three. Warbound Rising. They look like Ragnarok. We got the Incredible Hercules number 119. Secret Invasion Time. I love it because this is stuff that like some of this stuff I wanted to know. And then some of these people I don't got. Like, I just got some Incredible Hulk, if y'all seen. 
well, Incredible, uh, well, Hercules. And now I got more of newer ones, so it's pretty good. 113 of the Incredible Hercules. So, Hercules ran across, answer me this, y'all. Riddle me this. Hercules ran across Hulk more than he ran across Thor? I would think he would have ran across Thor more. Maybe that's just me. The Amazing Spider-Man in the Gang War Time number 42. Oh, knocked him out. He's out. Like a light. We got The Amazing Spider-Man number 44. Hey, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all now. I think I'm to a point where I ain't going to be worrying about bags and boards too much longer. Because I'm, I'm not, like, you know, getting rid of my stuff like that, you know? I don't know about y'all, but yeah. Warlock and the Infinity Watch, number 10. Unless it come with some or something that I could double up. I think these are duplicates, but that was Warlock, and I've been trying to f finish my Warlock stuff. Number eight, Warlock and the Infinity Watch. Thanos, Gamora. We got... Fantastic Four, number 388. Right, there we go. Dang, everybody right there. Oh man, this is gonna be a good issue. I can't wait. It's a lot going on, huh? Got the watcher in the front. We got Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor, number two. I'm going to show y'all some more art. I'm going to show you some art soon. Thank you for sticking with me, y'all. Because this is, this is a long one. But I'm going to show y'all some stuff. What if Aliens number two. And this is the variant cover. Look at that. Look, look, look. Captain Marvel number one. This is a thicker book too, by the way. It's a thicker book. We got Weapon X, number four. Dang, you missing him up. This is so cool, y'all. Look at this. Look, the eye. Ah. We got the untold stories of Spider Man number three. I got some of these already. This is with Sandman Sandbag. We got Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man number 265. Our son, the spider. Why well, you look like Red Skull right there? I'm just saying. It look like Red Skull. The parents of Peter Parker part two. We got Marvel Tales number 264. We got some Marvel Tales, y'all. These are fun because, like everyone says, you get to read some of the stuff half of the price when you ain't got to chase down the book. Spider-Man and X-Factor, number two. I think I got all of these. I don't know how many it is. If it's like three of them. Yeah, it's three of them. I think I got all three of them. Spider-Man and X-Factor. I got the Avengers number 358, Assault of Archon. Show you some ah, the ah. It's pretty good. Whoa. There you go. The old school paper. Look at the lips. Crazy. Got some Avenger. 
We got the excellent number five. Dupe. That's my comic shop. That's their character. One of their favorite characters. And then we have the excellent number four. So we got four and five, and it's like some of the same. Eyeballs, y'all. It's an eyeball in there. Yeah. Stripes is number one. Yeah, I don't know if it's more than one of this, or was it just a one and done, or was it a couple? Because I, I usually only find that one. We got Generation X Holiday Spectacular, number four. Which is crazy, because it's the holiday. Ain't this crazy be showing this, y'all? This is Halloween. This is. What's this? I'm just saying. I remember before Christmas. Magic Man 2020, number two. Right. Nightmare Before Christmas is a good movie, y'all. I'm just saying. That's why that song gets stuck in your head. New Mutants, number 32. Uh, the New Mutants movie was whatever. If they get the clue to not rush everything, I think it'd be better for a lot of movies, shows, everything. Cable, number nine. Look at that. Look at the cable. Cable number three. It's a younger cable, y'all. We got cable number twenty. Legion quests are our an hour of last things. Professor Xavier, Cyclops. Oh man. It's just like they storyline and with Cable and Cyclops is the same way with Trunks and Vegeta. I like it. Uh, if you know anything about Dragon Ball Z, that's what I'm talking about. But number two of the Punisher Summer Special. 48 pages, by the way. And no ads. Again, I love it. This is the second Summer Special I got. I got another one. So that should do it. We got the century number two. Spider Man, Black Panther, Falcon, Sam, Sam's Captain America, number one, the century. I don't know, y'all. Y'all think Fantastic Four gonna do good? Y'all let me know. I know people don't like to call it, but. I don't want to be blind and just go in there and always be having high expectation or just give in and fold to it every time, y'all, for like movies and shows because we do that a lot and we are the customers, y'all. We are the one that makes them the money, you know? Children of the Vault, number two. And I don't want to just like say every movie is going to be good or every movie is watchable because the truth is I have watched some horrible, horrible movies but it's a lot i like that's just the real thing of it you know gambit in the externals number four and i think everybody got taste and i like to be open-minded about a lot of stuff y'all i just hope fantastic four is not politicked out i want just a good story y'all just like glenn say on coming book palace give them a good story that's all we need the ah the ah and I think most people will rock with it if we got a good story, y'all. But if you start doing too much stuff and beating us over the head like a dead horse, I don't think we're going to care that much. Gambit and external, externals, externals, number one. I can't wait. Gambit, Gambit had his own little run. This is so cool. I can't wait to read it, y'all. It's going to be fun. Thunderbolts, number five. 
got Thunderbolts number 23. And then we have Thunderbolts number 18. Infinity time. We're on the Infinity time. Got the Punisher right there and Electra. Is that Agent Venom? Yep, it look like it. And then we have the Invincible Iron Man Marvel Milestone Edition. Representing the first appearance of Thanos, the Invincible Iron Man number 55. For reprinting number 55, 1972. Oh, that's gonna be cool. This is gonna be fun. I've been finding these a lot lately, and they've been fun. Been fun, good reads, y'all. For real. Spider Punk Arms Race number three. Look at that. Oh, Spider Punk. I was happy to get that. We got. Ghost Rider and Blade Spirits of Vengeance number eight. Well, they going to get my fist though on here. It's gonna be a fun read. Can't wait. We got Spider Man ver Wolverine versus Spider Man. Card stock. Look at that. Card stock. Say. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Venom number twenty-six. Carnage number three. Ooh. I like the way that cover looks. Carnage number two. There we go. Ha <laughs> It's tight. We got the Amazing Scarlet Spider number two. Look at that. I think this is like my second and third Scarlet Spider. Which is pretty... Boom. Scarlet Spider number one. Yeah. This is pretty tight. This is tight. This is tight. We got X-Men 2099, number 12. This is so tight. I love it. I love it. Then these are like uh, telling about the story so far or like magazines for these couple issues. I got the Spider-Man Collector's Preview. It talks about the comics. It talks about the toys, the clone. We just talk about it. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. This is a wraparound cover. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? A lot got a lot. Vision, Marvel Vision number one. This is doing a Marvel versus DC time. I love it. Because the fact that Superboy going against Spidey. So tight. Then we have Marvel. The Year in Review 1994 magazine. It just talked about the time frame of it. You got all that, like the wedding when they Cyclops, Phoenix, you know, Avengers, just all that. I like that. Just the review around that time. We got X Force 38. And y'all know why I like this. Deadpool. I'm going against everybody. Look at everybody. They stepping on it. It's, this is pretty cool. You got X-Force number 15. There you go. Ooh. We got X-Force number 10. So tight. 
And got X Force number eight. X Force number six. I know. I know. They're like, dang, you got a lot of books. I know. X Force number four. X Force number two. X Force number eleven. Who the hell is Eli Bard? Oh, this is tight. This is tight. We got X Force annual number one. 1992. Look at that. Sweet. I love it. We got X Force number 45. Ooh. X Force number 44. X Force number 27. It's an older X Force issue. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> we got X Force number 22, the final gift. X Force number 21 War Machines. It's a lot of X titles, y'all. Seriously. And then they, they mix it up so much, they be trying to make you get into the other books. But some people be like, I'm not doing that. And I, I'm with them. Number 16, X Force Executioner Song. Everybody get into it. We got X4 X-Men, the uncanny X-Men by the way, number 16 annual. Yeah, this is sweet. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh I got a couple duplicates, but not too many. I got uncanny X-Men. Number 324. There we go. Wolverine. That's so tight. I love it. Uncanny X-Men number 323. Who is he? That's not Cyclops. Who is he? Is that X-Men? X-Men? We got the Uncanny X-Men number 322. Who stopped Juggernaut? Somebody knocked Juggernaut out. Look, he's out cold. They ain't trying to worry about it. Psylocke, she's trying to be on 10. We got the Uncanny X-Men 320. This is also the Wizard Edition one. Legion Quest is the Wizard Edition. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got Uncanny X Men number 316. Yeah, I know I got this, right? Shiny, shiny. <laughs> and then we have Uncanny X Men 303. Now this was one of them free giveaway ones. This is number one, but they were trying to save. And I even looked it up now. They were trying to save on paper. So this is like a, a paper issue. That was a giveaway, Uncanny X-Men number one. And um, 
whole story, everything, y'all. This is a pretty good, neat, good grab whenever you see it. 20 cents. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got X Man number 18. Don't know who he is, by the way. Y'all gonna have to tell me. I do not know who he is. Um, we got X Men number 15. Yeah, there. We got X Men annual number one. There you go. Look at that. Look, look, look. Pretty cool. We got X Men number 44. Just X Men, Cyclops. They ain't. What they doing to my boy? We got X Men number forty-two. This is so tight, y'all. We got X Men number forty-three. Magneto. That's who he says, by the way. We got X-Men number nine. When he went against Daredevil. I mean, when he against Ghost Rider. I said Daredevil. New Orleans, by the way. We got X-Men number two. There we go. Pretty cool. Excalibur and the X-Men number 57. This is a reader beater. But they got Nightcrawler. I like this cover though, y'all. I got everybody jumping out at you. Get you. <laughs> we got Excalibur versus X Men Special Edition. Oh, there's going to be a lot going on. Can't wait. Can't wait. Excalibur number two. Night crawler right there. Excalibur number three. This is so cool. Excalibur number four. Oh yeah. Look at this. We try to talk about the 90s. The 90s set up a lot of stuff, y'all. And the last one is number five to Avengers Inc. Number five. This is my last book. And that will be it, y'all. Let me show you the movie. This is a classic movie, for one. If you haven't watched the first one, Watching this one, you, you, you hurt yourself. Watch both of them. This is the Boondock Saints. All Saints Day 2. I just recently watched the first one of this again. <laughs> Woo! I had a fun old funky time. And I recommend y'all watch it. It is a good movie. And it's a uh, crazy good action, y'all. You know, action packed. So. That's it for me, y'all. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Why not? And got to catch them all. Got to catch them all. Keep on collecting. It's your boy Swag. Signing out. And I'm out. That was good. These are some good books. And now it's the whispers kind of. That's it. I was taping it. I turned the TV on. Stay tuned for the next video. Got some good stuff coming soon. Get out of here.